There's no escaping it anymore, is there? I finally have to do Zack Snyder's justice. Ow! You are awful surly for a plush toy. Haven't I already played this game? A few weeks ago, when I needed a filler episode because another subject was taking too long, I reviewed the Wii Shovelware game Chicken Blaster, a game about shooting borderline static floating models of chickens that barely fight back because we needed something quick and cheap to milk the success of the Wii Zapper. And the game's campaign was only half an hour long, meaning it was over before I noticed that some of the chickens are wearing turbans and suicide bomb vests! WHAT?! And yet, the shooting chickens with motion controls genre is apparently much larger than I realized, because two years before Chicken Blaster, the exact same studio made Chicken Shoot for the Wii. No, I'm not kidding. They more or less made the same game twice, right down to the covers being nearly identical, and the titles being so close that I had to keep checking that I had this game's name right. And while Chicken Blaster was an utterly irredeemable piece of crap, Chicken Shoot is somehow much, much worse! The game loads with no title screen, like even it's confused about its own name, and the main menu's music just keeps awkwardly slamming between two different jingles. And when you start the game, you see a farmer chasing a bunch of chickens off his land with a shotgun. God, five seconds in and they've completely stopped trying. The shotgun sound isn't even close to the animation of the gun going off. And with the pathetic excuse for a story well established, the game starts. You're taken to an actually pretty eye-catching hand-drawn backdrop as decently animated chickens fly by and throw eggs at you. With actual throwing animations this time, but every single object in the background has an ugly, jagged, pixely black outline like they just blatantly didn't finish cutting out the various bits of terrain in Photoshop. And just when I was about to at least give the game credit for being better animated and visually competent than Chicken Blaster was, a chicken completely phased through the environment to come attack me. Smooth. Your basic weapon is utter crap. You get a pistol that only fires five shots before it needs to be manually reloaded, which takes several seconds, about as long as it takes to piss away its magazine. I know you're supposed to be choosy with your shots and focus like accuracy like a more typical arcade game, but we'll get into why that's a sick joke later. And it still means that often you'll go to shoot someone, be empty, and then they'll get away while you have to stop to reload. But for a game called Chicken Shoot, where the entire point of the game is shooting chickens, often there won't be a lot of chickens to shoot! You can scroll your view by aiming near the sides of the screen, which is par for the course with Wii shooters, but the pain is that you have to CONSTANTLY scroll the entire length of the screen looking for SOMETHING that you can shoot! This might be the most lethargic arcade shooting game that I've ever seen. You spend most of your time WAITING FOR SHIT TO SPAWN! Jeez, no wonder Chicken Shoot just- Wait, SHIT! BLASTER! The other one! No wonder Chicken Blaster just dumps enemies onto the screen non-stop. Overcorrection from the crappy original! You quickly start to notice that the game's hit detection is hot garbage. There have been times where I'll shoot and shoot and shoot at a target dead on, and it just never counts as a hit. <laughs> We're running out of things that you can screw up with a shooting gallery game. Step one, have things to shoot. Step two, count it when you shoot! Just look at this! Chicken should be more lead than bird, and he didn't even take a scratch! And I swear the hit detection gets even worse with the side weapons. You can pick up a shotgun, a machine gun, or a heavier machine gun, a whole three weapons, and the machine guns are almost kinda useful because they fire a barrage of bullets, but if you pick up a new weapon, you'll drop the one you had, so I'm constantly losing my machine guns for the shitty ass barely working shotguns. Oh, and another thing that you'd think it'd be impossible for a gallery shooter to screw up? There's a counter in the upper left corner on how many chickens that you need to hit for the level to end? The level doesn't actually end when that counter hits zero. I am dead serious. I have no idea when the game actually decides to end each level, but it's always about a dozen grievously injured chickens past the point where it tells you. This game is so botched that they managed to screw up counting. Okay, those pants. Is that middle hole a poop shoot, or is that for... 
Well, DICK! This is the second game in a row that I've played with a penis hose. I play some weird shit. The second level is where I started running into a big problem. These levels are actually pretty large with a big open area that you have to scroll through. And unless you're scrolling across the entirety of the stage non freaking stop, you're going to constantly get shot and take damage from off screen. And that's when I noticed another problem. Do you see a health bar anywhere on this heads up display? The farmer will grunt or growl to indicate that I'm taking damage, but I don't see anywhere that it actually keeps track of how many hits I can take. Well, it turns out there is a health bar. It's built into the icon of the farmer at the bottom of the screen. As you take damage, if you pay really close attention, you'll notice little bullet holes forming a circle around him, and when that circle completes is when you die. Are you kidding me? So not only is that the most obscure health bar that I've ever seen, but the game's interface actually goes out of its way to obstruct it? I have no idea how long it would have taken me to notice this if I hadn't seen other videos about it. At least give the farmer's derpy face bruises or rips in his clothes so that it's more obvious and it references doom. Oh, and another screwball in regards to your health, you'll see random food on the ground that you can shoot to heal yourself. There is absolutely zero feedback of any kind to let you know that the food actually does anything! I just thought that putting a cooked chicken next to the coops was a dark joke. So much like the other game, you quickly find yourself hunting chickens in places where there shouldn't be any chickens because the farmer got sick of chasing chickens off his land and I guess decided to chase them off the earth! Level 3 is the Nevada Desert and you're shooting the exact same enemies again with Indian headdresses glued on. Level 4 is some kind of beach with ships docked and with a big honking tree obstructing tons of the foreground and blocking your view! Levels 5 and 6 are Himalaya, that's supposed to be plural, and Antarctica, so there are two ice levels in a row for no conceivable reason featuring chickens in Santa hats. Although the music in Antarctica is really calm, zen, relaxing, Nice tune to really put your mind and your soul at peace. DIE CHICKENS DIE! Level 7 is another beach where they actually drop a ton of weapons for you and I kept losing the actually decent machine guns for the damn shotguns because the game is so stupid that it can't remember you having all three of its sidearms at a time. And level 8 is Egypt where apparently the chickens have redone famous landmarks Planet of the Apes style. Hey, maybe it's actual lore. And in addition to the chickens all wearing sunglasses, you have ghosts that don't hurt you, but damned if you will allow them to rest in peace! Now each level of the game will have some chickens just chilling out in the foreground, not injuring you. Doing laundry, listening to some music, sun tanning, whatever in the name of hell this thing is supposed to be. A chicken in front of a yellow circle that maybe almost seems to have arms and grow wings when shot. Anybody want to try and venture a guess what the hell this recurring enemy is supposed to be? None of these foreground chickens actually hurt you, but you can still shoot them for points like regular enemies. Until you get to level 9, the Asian village, where the chickens are all wearing traffic cones on their heads. Are those supposed to be bamboo hats because they're textured, colored, and shaped exactly like traffic cones? Anyway, this level has these two chickens fencing each other in the foreground, but despite how prominent and animated they are, shooting them does nothing. And there's an egg that hatches and then the chicken ducks back in, and shooting this thing does get you points, but it doesn't die. What you don't know, however, is that for absolutely no reason that is ever explained, shooting the egg kills you! It drains your health like a bitch, and you won't even notice unless you're paying extra close attention to the quasi-invisible health bar! Why does shooting this one enemy suddenly hurt you? Is this a bug or something? If it's supposed to be sending a message about not shooting non-combatants, that hasn't stopped our psycho-ass protagonist up until now, has it?! Well, between fiddling with the egg and getting shot from off screen, I've got like zero health left, and I hadn't discovered yet that shooting food heals you. But I've only got a few chickens left to shoot to end the level. I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. Oh, come on, just once could the damn game work right and the level end when it's supposed to end? Wake up, you pile of crap! I'm running on fumes here! So, did I win?
The game just brings up a high score table and I can't tell if I died or if I hit the end of the campaign. It doesn't say game over or congratulations or anything. They were too lazy to put two damn words over the screen where you get killed. And hold on, that name that's auto-filled in, Frannick? Did someone try to phonetically spell out Frank? Well, I'd redo the level and see if that's the end of the campaign, but go figure, there's no level select option. I have to replay the whole game from scratch. Though in fairness, that does only take about half an hour! Okay, turns out there are a few more levels. Stage 10 is the Everglades, and I get the living shit kicked out of me. Not only do I get shot from off-screen near constantly in this level, but there's another trap in the game that I didn't notice until playthrough number 3. You see those orange hot air balloons off in the distance, or the chickens with white parachutes? Shooting those kills you too! Yeah, obvious, right? Oh, but shooting the chickens with the striped red and white parachutes, that's A-OK. -okay. Again, is this a glitch or something? How are you supposed to know that just these two specific enemies aren't enemies, even though they look exactly like other enemies? I can't believe I have to bump down to easy difficulty on frickin' Chicken Blaster. Shoot! Chicken, shoot! Shit! And on my second pass at stage 10, I found this. A huge black chunk of the screen where they didn't layer in the game's backgrounds correctly. The water just cuts off into a void. Did they not playtest this? Or did they just not care? There's a hole in the world, it's a great black pit, and it's full of games that are full of shit! The last level is called The Final Task, and it's a really tall tree with chickens guarding a giant egg. And this level blows ass! There are almost no enemies to shoot on this stage, and you have to scroll all up and down this tree, constantly looking for targets. Every now and then you'll get lucky and a chicken will fly across to shoot, but mostly all you've got are these little black-headed shits that duck down before you can hit them and they don't come back out. Mostly, you'll just keep endlessly shooting the two guards at the top that keep respawning over and over. Which, by the way, means that you'll constantly get shot from off-screen the entire time that you're playing. But eventually, you frickin' trick the damn game into spawning enough enemies to end the stage, and you square down with the final boss, a king chicken that marches forth and engages you in mortal combat, testing all the skills that you- And he's dead. I think after one shot. And I guess nobody noticed that King Chicken's body ends in a flat line. He was probably supposed to stay behind the nest. That was the only boss in the entire game. Congratulations, you defeated all the chickens. With a period next to the exclamation point because I don't think this was made by people who English. There's a classic mode that's pretty much the exact same game, but worse. You still have to kill a certain number of chickens to pass each level, only replace the health bar with a time limit, and now there is no counter anywhere in the game to actually tell you how many chickens that you need to shoot. As far as you know, each level just ends at pure random whenever the hell the game feels like it. I would have been confused off my ass if I tried the classic mode first instead of the arcade mode. But on the bright side, having to go back to get classic mode footage midway through editing this review did allow me to solve a great mystery. You know how levels don't end when you've killed all the chickens that you're told to kill to make the level end? Well, reaching the stage's kill count makes a sparkling chicken appear, and killing the shiny chicken is what ends the stage. Of all the stupid, convoluted shit. There's also a bonus minigame called Catch an Egg, where you have four chickens laying eggs and you have to catch all the eggs and you move using motion controls that do whatever the hell they want. Seriously, there's no pointer and the game reacts at pure random to your input. Sometimes I'll flail the remote and get no response, sometimes I'll hold the remote still and he still moves. I've never had a game that lasts longer than 20 seconds, because we'll be damned if you just use a regular ass d-pad to play a minigame that takes precise controls. Come with me for a second. Oh, for, would you move? No. Nuh uh. Ah! You see this? This is Manhole. Manhole is a Game & Watch LCD game that Nintendo made back before the original NES or Famicom were a thing. 
And of the 20 or so Game & Watch games in Game & Watch Gallery 4, Manhole is by far the worst one! So Chicken Shoot's one and only idea for a minigame was to copy a three-decade-old glorified Tiger game, which they didn't even do correctly since Manhole uses normal damn controls that actually work! This game can kiss my manhole! Chicken Blaster... Shoot! Damn it! Either! Both games blow ass, but Chicken Shoot is so much worse! Obnoxiously slow and yet unbalanced gameplay that leaves you bored and pissed off at the same time, staggeringly cheap graphics and abysmal hit detection to where the game barely even works right, all putting it way down the list of cash grab we shovelware. Okay, I reviewed your damn chicken game. Are you happy now? Are you going to chuck any more games that Rerez has already done at me? Can I get back to what I was doing? Okay. I guess I finally have to do Zack Snyder's Justice League, don't I? Ooh. The fuck?